This is a Fox News alert. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been rushed to the hospital. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was hospitalized overnight Saturday. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was admitted to the hospital on Saturday. That's right, the 73-year-old longest-serving Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was hospitalized this weekend during the global heat wave we are witnessing right now. Now, how did this come to be? How do our bodies react to extreme heat? What does this mean for Mr. Netanyahu? And how can you and your loved ones stay safe during this heat wave? Stay tuned to the rest of this video to find out all the answers to these questions and more. So without further ado, let's begin. For context, the internal temperature of our bodies is maintained at a steady temperature of roughly 98 degrees Fahrenheit, aka 37 degrees Celsius. And this should be the case regardless of what the outside external temperature is. And it's extremely important that our bodies maintain this internal temperature sweet spot as proteins inside our bodies can only work within a very narrow temperature range to create those chemical reactions necessary to sustain life. Now, if you deviate either way from this narrow range, well, uh, you can uh, use your imagination. <laughs> Now the internal thermometer that regulates the temperature of our bodies is called the hypothalamus, which is located in our brain stems. But in extremely hot environments, such as in Israeli summer, especially during a global heat wave, if we are not careful by getting enough shade or water, the outside environment can overwhelm the hypothalamus taking away its ability to regulate our internal body temperature. Netanyahu, Israel's longest serving leader, said he had been on holiday at the Sea of Galilee on Friday during a heat wave. Temperatures there reached 108 degrees Saturday. His office said Netanyahu was admitted on his physician's recommendation after complaining of light dizziness. Now, if the hypothalamus does indeed get overwhelmed, it shuts off its temperature regulating abilities, leading to one of either two conditions, heat exhaustion or heat stroke. And if you want to know the difference between the two, I'll be uploading another video this week about this topic. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications via the bell icon to not miss out when it comes out. Subtle plug, subtle plug. Now, I couldn't find any reports indicating that Mr. Netanyahu officially got to the intensity level of suffering from a heat stroke or heat exhaustion, but rather it seems like what happened is that he just felt very dizzy after spending some time outdoors and, well, not drinking enough water. Netanyahu is in good condition and being treated at a hospital near Tel Aviv. So the doctors in the emergency room gave him the diagnosis of severe dehydration, but also for sure would have to test to see if his electrolyte balance was in check, if the lack of fluid led to any damage to his organs, and to just generally check to rule out any heart conditions that could have resulted in him feeling dizzy and maybe getting lightheaded instead of just the mere dehydration. שגרתי החלטנו להשתמש באולטר תעתורי, כפי שנהוג במצבים מסוג אלו, כדי לאפשר לצוות המקצועי הרפואי הצמוד של ראש הממשלה להמשיך במעקב שוטר. And as a side note about dehydration, you see, our bodies lose water all the time via evaporation. Overnight, you'll lose about one cup of water while you sleep. I mean, you're not even doing anything. That's why drinking one cup of water first thing in the morning is the move to add to your morning routine. Anyways, if it's really hot outside, your body will lose even more water than baseline by ramping up sweating as sweat drops evaporating from your skin literally takes away heat from our bodies. And also, uh, with less water in our bodies, our blood circulation volume becomes reduced and not allowing our hearts to pump blood to the skin surface for extra cooling. Which, by the way, is the reason why our cheeks become rosy red in appearance when we're all hot and sweaty outside. All that is just to go to say that no water replacement makes it extremely hard for the hypothalamus to keep up with the heat and eventually will lead to severe problems. Now, as for the Israeli Prime Minister here at MedShow, we are wishing him a refuah shlema, and it looks like things are going along pretty well, thank God. He even showed this message broadcasted straight from the hospital. Morbility in the water, 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 in the water,
אז קודם כל אני רוצה להודות לכולכם על הדאגה, וגם להודות לצוותים המצוינים כאן בשיבא שבדקו אותי. ברוך השם, אני מרגיש מאוד טוב, אבל יש לי רק בקשה אחת מכם. אנחנו עוברים גל חום במדינה, אז אני מבקש מכם, תהיו פחות בשמש, תשתו יותר מים, ושיהיה לכולנו שבוע טוב. He's right. Don't underestimate the power of staying hydrated and avoiding direct sunlight, especially in the middle of the day when the sun is at its highest maximum strength. And as I said, ladies and gentlemen, my next video will cover the differences between heat exhaustion and heat stroke using the case of country music star Jason Aldean as an example of somebody who suffered from one of these just a few days ago while performing live on stage. Once again, please subscribe to the channel to learn more about this topic, as I'll be uploading that video sometime this week. And if you've learned something new, please consider sharing this video to family and friends in light of the heat wave going around throughout various parts of the planet. Please be safe, stay healthy, and stay blessed. Oh, and as always, until next time.